Hi and welcome to the Ericsson 2018 OSS BSS user group. I'm Des Blanchfield and we're here in North America and I'm joined by Laurie Spiegel. Hi Laurie, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Thanks for taking time to uh, join me on camera. Laurie, for folk who don't know you, maybe could you just make a quick introduction to yourself and uh, where you fit in the Ericsson team? Absolutely. I'm a marketing campaign manager for Ericsson in North America and my responsibility area is in the OSS BSS domain as well as other areas of our digital services business area. Fantastic. So we're at the OSS BSS user group for 2018. We're in lovely New York, although it wasn't so lovely yesterday raining. Mm -hmm. uh, give folk who are uh, tuning in now just maybe a sense of kind of what, what's happening here this week. What are we here to see and what are the, some of the key highlights we should expect from this event? Very good. We're, we're joined by operators from all over the world whose common interest is in operation support systems and business support in, uh, systems. Mm -hmm. The uh, front end systems and the back end systems that run the networks uh, and interconnect uh, networks all over. So uh, we're here to understand what the latest technology is, what the latest innovations are, and to uh, collaborate and understand what each other is doing to further the business in, uh, in the OSS BSS arena. Exciting. And I guess to put some context into that, I mean, when we're thinking about uh, the orchestration and billing systems, I mean, these are the lifeblood, these are the heartbeat of the platforms. You could roll out as many routers and switches and cells and towers as you like, but if you can't actually onboard clients and if you can't get them signed up as a subscriber and start billing them, you're not in business really, can you? Exactly. exactly. So um, you've got an amazing array of some very big name partners here, clients here. Uh, any highlights that we can expect from this event as far as uh, some of the keynote speakers, some of the key topics? What are the key things that you want people to take away from this particular event this week? Absolutely. Well, Verizon is our host and co-partner in the event, and Verizon is bringing and speaking about their orchestration solution for virtual network uh, operations. So I think that's one of the keys that you can see at the event, and uh, as well as our new acquisition of Cenex, having to do with autom uh, automation, mm -hmm. closed loop automation, and the assurance capabilities that they bring to our solutions. And that was a very exciting announcement I saw come through. Um, now, uh, obviously folk are at the event here, I've got a fairly good sense of it. For, um, for folk who are not here, where can they get a bit more information about this? I mean, the Ericsson website, I guess, but are there, are there particular assets that they can look for? Can they do a web search for anything in particular that they can learn about what's happening at the event here on the website of the event that you could share with folk? Sure, absolutely. I think uh, if you go to the digital services pages and storefront, you'll see areas of each part of the digital services business to explore more and learn more about the offerings and what customers are doing with those offerings, the successes that they're, that they're having. Fantastic. So ericsson.com, on the top menu there, uh, you'll see a range of them through uh, the various parts of the business units. So uh, Laurie, thank you so much for taking time to catch up with me. It's been a pleasure to get to know you. Same here. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on camera again soon. Folks, we'll wrap up with that. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Des Blanchfield and we're here at the Ericsson 2018 OSS BSS user group in sunny old New York. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us.